Okay, come on in. It's poor it's setting Sunday. It's another day and another chance to sparkle. So keep a sparkle in your eye and a sparkle in your heart because it makes you beautiful and it also makes you smile. I, I'm having coffee today. I got my Be Kind cup. Everybody be kind. You know to be kind. All of my um, girls are all kind. I know you are. You're kind to yourself. You're kind to each other. Let me show you the mountains. It's a little rainy day today. We've got a little bit of rain going on. Let me get a drink of coffee. I wanted her mama. And she was at inside and had to be out here with her mama. You know she's got to have her mama. Okay, lay right here till mama shows them the mountains. Let's look at the mountains. I'm going to have to move this spider plant, girls. Woo! So you can see the mountains. They're a little bit um, foggy today. I hope you can see them. I hope. Our flag is a little raggedy, just like our country. Our country is raggedy and our flag is raggedy. Okay, there's up the holler. And there is down the holler. I hope you can see the mountain. I'm going to have to have my husband move this plant. Let me see. There we go. See? They're all foggy. I hope you can see that. But they're beautiful today. I love it when they're like that. It reminds me of... I don't know. It just reminds me... Of, I don't know what it reminds me of, but it just is so soothing to look at the mountains when they're all foggy and... It's just raining today enough to... My spider plant's beautiful, girls. Isn't that beautiful? I grew that from a baby. From one of these. I grew it from one of these. So, anyway. Let me turn you around. Let you look at me. <laughs> I'm not as pretty as the mountains, but I smile a lot. So, how's everybody doing today? Hope you're doing good. Hope you're having a wonderful Sunday. My sister is right now catching a flight. She said she was stuck in Chicago for a few hours. So, she's, I think, boarding now. Um, and it's about 5 here. And it's, I don't know what time it is in Chicago. But, um, anyway, she said she'd get home about 6.35 tonight. So, let me get another drink of coffee. Don't forget to be kind. We had a wonderful visit. It was so nice to just grab a hold of her and hug. I think we held on for five minutes, both of us. And I love her more now than I did before I touched her. I, we FaceTime and we talk on the phone. But it's not the same as as touching somebody having them in your arms and and holding them and kissing them it's not the same so I knew that that she was my sister and we talked back and forth but once I got my arms around her and hugged her and kissed her she is just so beautiful she's so beautiful and I love her so so much Kelly if you watch this all my love all my kisses I came home then, and I, another cousin found me on my mom's side. Um, me and her, we grew up together going to one, you know, they would come to our house, she would, we would go to their house, and so she reached out to me on Facebook, said she was so glad to find me, and I had asked her then about her sister, uh, if she had heard from her, seen her, and she said no. Um, she's one that just loses her way away from the family. Anyway, my eyes watering, girls. I mean, I got I didn't bring nothing, so I got to use this. Anyway, this eye waters all the time, and sometimes it don't, and sometimes it decides to. But I started to get a little emotional, and that's why it, because I got to see Kelly, and I got to hug her, and that was so much fun. Oh, we had such a good talk, and just visited, you know, visited. Um, 
it was just so much fun to learn about each other and there's still a lot more that we need to learn and I'm hoping that one day I get to go to her house. I get to fly and spend a week with her. I would love to just me and her be by ourselves and just spend a week together or longer if I could and I hope to someday do that. But anyway, I came home and my cousin had found me on Facebook and we hadn't talked in a long, long time. It had been forever. And so I, when we got ready, done talking, and you know, I got ready, we got ready to say our goodbyes, I asked her about her other sister. If she'd heard from her or seen her in, in a while, and she said no, and she hadn't seen her in four or five years, and I said, she said, but I did get in touch with her son and tell her about Ann Opal passing. And I just went all to pieces because I did not know that's my last aunt. My last aunt to uh, on mom's side. Mom mom has another sister, I think, but I don't know if they're living or, or dead. I've only seen them once in my life. I know one of the twins died, but I don't know about the other, and I don't know which one died and which one didn't. But I really don't consider them aunts because they were never in my life. But my Aunt Opal, she is our historian of the family. She's who you go to when you need to know something about the family. So she told me all I need to know about mom and about grandma and about, you know, other sisters in the family, uh, her sisters and brothers. And anyway, so she, and she was 90 some years old. But I wish someone would have called me. I mean, her son had my number. I went over there as often as I could. And I hadn't been over there since the this thing had broke out, this virus, you know, the coronavirus. I hadn't been over there since then because I didn't want to get her sick. But anyway, I had called about her and um, everything, but um, I was very upset to hear that my Aunt Opal had passed away. She passed away a week ago yesterday, and um, that makes me very sad. Um, but in the same sense, now she's not um, suffering. I mean, she was getting old, and there was things going on in her life, her house, that I know she did not like. So, anyway, that's neither here nor there. My aunt passed away. I um, had my cry yesterday and, and uh, got to move on. I have to move on. I'll call her son. Uh, later on, she had nine sons. Um, some of them are already uh, went on before her. So she knows what I was going through when I lost my son. And um, anyway, um, I'm here to tell you a story. And I think I'll tell you a funny story. I, I don't know, do you want to hear a funny story? Well, you can't tell me, so I'm just going to tell you. I'm telling you a funny story. Uh, when um, my husband and I were building our home, not this home, but our first home. You want down, baby girl? Here. You want down? <laughs> when we was building our first home, let me get her. She's hopping up now, wanting up. Oh, goodness. Her getting big girl. Here. Say hi to everybody. Say hi, everybody. <laughs> okay, lay down there. Anyway, and someone told me that I shouldn't put a bell on her because it makes her nervous, but if I don't put a bell on her, we'll step on her. Because she gets right, she follows me around so much, and I don't know if she's under me, and I try to watch and not, but if the bell's on her, I know exactly where she's at, so that's what I have to do. But anyway... When me and my husband was building, getting ready to build our house, we'd already bought the property. And we started to, and we bought it, we was, tw I was 27, my husband was 29, maybe 30, I think more close to 30. When we bought our property, and we bought it on land contract, and we got a good deal. This lady let us just pay her, and we just drew up a contract, and we paid her a monthly payment every month. So we started building the house. Well, when we started building the house, now you got to know my father-in-law too. You got to know him. 
he is a grouchy old, he was a grouchy old fart. And uh, me and him was like oil and water. We did not mix because I didn't like the way he treated his wife. And I would tell him so. And, and uh, we had our ups and downs, trust me. But anyway, um, he was, there was this great big, I mean big, tree right in the middle of our property, of our lot that we wanted to build our home on. And um, my husband was up in the tree cutting some limbs, and he needed a different saw. My father-in-law went out there. He always wore um, a belt or suspenders. And I don't know why, but he went out there. He didn't have suspenders on, but I think he had a belt on. But it, I don't know why. But anyway, he wretch up to give my husband the saw and when he raised his other arm to tip up to you know like this and then tip tiptoe to get, get it up there his pants fell down clear around his ankles the neighbors were out all of the women in the family was out we laughed so hard he got so embarrassed and I was so glad <laughs> I was laughing and just oh it was so so much fun to watch him lose his britches and embarrassing so now he knew how his wife felt when he would get her in the backyard and start cussing her in front of the neighbors they never laughed at her but it still embarrassed her you know and so anyway don't forget to be kind let me get a drink of coffee Anyway, that was so much fun when that happened to him. So much fun. And that story, that's one of the stories that I, I keep in my memory. And I keep a lot of stories there. And I've still got a lot of stories. But I'm losing. I don't know what, what you all want. I know all of my videos, my... Um, Pork Set and Sunday videos, videos are doing really well. Those are the ones you all like the most. And the ones where I show my favorite things, that was the highest ranked one. Um, and I want to thank all my new subscribers that um, jumped on the fan wagon with all of us nuts. I mean, uh, we're all, we all love each other. We all um, talk to each other. Um, I want to say hi to my new adopted aunt, Janet. Um, I told her that I was going to adopt her, that I only had one aunt left, and that I was going to adopt her. She is Kelly's mother, my sister Kelly's mother's sister. She is so beautiful. I don't know her age. I didn't ask her, but she is so beautiful. When I saw her, I thought, oh, wow, she is a beautiful, beautiful lady. So, I have a new aunt. I lost the aunt and gained the aunt. And I just love her to pieces. She is just, she was just so sweet to me and um, was so happy that me and Kelly got to get together. And I'm just thrilled and can't wait to um, start a new life with Kelly in it. So, you all come along. If you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. You wouldn't believe how many people watch me and they haven't hit that subscribe button. Well, hit that subscribe button. It's free. It don't cost a thing. You get a lot of love here. And don't forget to hit that, that bell. Make that white bell turn black. That way you'll be notified of every video that I put up. And fall's coming, y'all. So we're going to have a good time with the mountains, watching them turn, and um, just a good time for all. I love you guys. I want you to remember that at the end of every storm is a beautiful rainbow in your mind. I love you guys. Come back now. Bye.